Hey there everybody, it's me, Nicole, and I just wanted to show you the sleeper and the spindle. Look who it's by! And look who it's illustrated by! Okay, I was super excited about this book. Um, first of all, uh, it's epic reads, and they usually have pretty cool stuff. This is the actual cover. And this is the this is the dust jacket, and it's an absolutely beautiful work of art. And I mean that story-wise, as well as from an art perspective. Um, I just want to show you. This is the kingdom. See that? There we go. There's, um, it's, made, it's mostly black and white with flecks of gold, and you can tell, obviously, um, it's meant to be like a children's book, but the subject matter is a little bit darker. Um, it's a mashup of multiple stories, and One of the reasons why it got so popular, apart from obviously who's involved with it, is the fact that there's a really super strong, amazing princess in this book who doesn't, she can't rely on a prince to save her. She has to save herself and she has to save other people. And this princess uh, ends up going to find another princess um, in order to save her. Um, the back copy reads, she was one of those forest witches driven to the margins a thousand years ago and a bad lot. She cursed the babe of birth such that when the girl was 18 she would prick her finger and sleep forever. So I think we can all figure out who the sleeper is. Um, And just by looking at some of the images, let's see if I can find one or two. Look at that. It's beautiful. You may be able to figure out who the uh, other princess is. I mean, this is, this is a pretty big clue right here. And this is for Holly and Maddie, my daughters who woke me up, Neil. Neil, um, too. And then um, Chris, uh, this is for his daughter Katie on the beginning of her quest. And the whole idea of this is just amazing. Like, I was just so overtly impressed by this entire story. I just, I want to color some of these scenes, you know? Like, if this had been released as a coloring book, with pages and it's like thick paper pages, um, I would have been totally down with that. I mean, look at this. See the breadth of this? Beautiful. And as is, I mean, it's just, it's one of those stories that, that you just hold on to. Um, there's a mysterious woman here and I don't want to give you this one because that's too much of a spoiler. Um, but again, it should be relatively easy to figure out. I mean, look at this. So this week has been kind of a um, check out dark stories because uh, Brioni and Roses that I that I reviewed earlier this week was there was a little dark to it. Um, this is similar, but in a really fantastic way. I mean, look who's writing look who's illustrating and you won't be disappointed. I mean, I can't say enough great things about this book. I am doing a booktube kind of thing because um, I'm trying something new and because it, my review would probably give too much away. Um, check it out. I was able to score it on Amazon deliver same day. 
because they do that in my area. But um, you can also find it at your local library if you have a really super cool librarian. Or um, I don't recommend buying it in e form. I recommend buying it in hard copy because this is one of those books that you're going to put on your shelf and you're going to love yourself for it because every so often you're just going to pick it up and read some of the lines and look at some of the art and just say yes. Um, if you want more spoilers, I would recommend going online because there were a ton of them when he made the uh, the original spoilery spoiler thing. Um, look at how pretty that is. It's beautiful. So um, it's kind of finishing up my dark story week. Uh, my precursor to Halloween, I guess. And I, again, I can't recommend this enough. Go pick up your copy today, whether it be from the library, whether it be borrowing a friend, or just buying your own. You will not be sorry. I don't even care if you go to the bookstore and look at it. Do that. If you enjoy Neil, if you enjoy Chris, or if you just like fairy tales, or if you want something different, pick up The Sleeper and The Spindle. That's all I have to say, folks. I hope you have a great night. Happy Halloween!